Hello, say charata. Today I'm recording a public place. Some people will be looking at the camera. I hope you don't mind. Well, you need to get your life in order. Get your life fixed. If you had only 24 hours to put your life in order, would you be able to do that? Would you say everything is under control? Or would you panic, saying, oh, you know, there's so much to do? Mental clutter causes unnecessary stress. Do you feel overwhelmed by the unfinished tasks in your life, by unresolved issues that are swirling in your mind? This mental clutter will cause anxiety, will distract you from fully enjoying the present moment. Imagine your mind like a room. Is it a cluttered room? Is it organized? Is it filled with unfinished tasks, unresolved issues, worries? All that mental mess will cause a constant level of anxiety, will prevent you from fully engaging in the present moment. Imagine how liberating it would be to clear all that clutter. When you acknowledge and you address all these open loops, you can reduce your stress and you create space for more peace of mind. Start by acknowledging every open loop in your life. Write down every task you're postponing, every conversation you're avoiding, every difficult decision that you're delaying. Don't judge yet. Don't try to solve these things at the moment. The first thing is to put it down on paper. Addressing mental clutter and organizing your life is not about just the final moment. It's about improving your quality of life right now, today. It will reduce your stress, will give you more clarity, and then you have more energy, more mental power to focus on what you need to do. Making a list will give you more control. If you're feeling you know, overwhelmed, it's coming from lack of clarity. A practical way to regain control is by making a list, by clarifying everything that is going on in your mind. All the tasks to complete, the people you have to contact, the commitments you have to fulfill. To do that, you can make a list with everything that is in your mind, such as tasks to complete, people you need to contact, difficult messages, commitments you have to fulfill, decisions you need to make, personal goals to pursue. By writing down all of this, it will turn those vague thoughts into concrete actions. It will empower you to prioritize, to delegate, to let go of what is unnecessary. And that simple step can significantly reduce anxiety and provide a clear path forward. So, take a look at the episode of last week. Remember, everybody dies. So my question is, are you ready to die? If you only had 24 hours left, would you have the tranquility to say, okay, everything's in order, kind of, of course, I would like to live more, but it's okay. Or would you panic, say, no, I can't go yet. Because there is a mess in my life. There's so much I have to do. I can't go. Do you even know what are your pending items? If you could make a list, what would, you, what would you write in your list? Start addressing these items right now. When you have your affairs in order, your tasks are managed, you can have a better life. You have more peace in your life. Are you constantly worried about things that are this open loop? What would happen if you suddenly become unavailable? You see, organizing your affairs is also like an act of love to other people. Have you thought about how your disorganization might affect people you love? Scattered documents, account details, unclear wishes about your stuff will cause unnecessary stress in a moment that is already difficult. Your current level of organization might impact your loved ones in a situation of emergency, right? Organizing your things is not just about taking care of your life, uh, becoming more organized. It's an act of love. It's consideration. It's respect to people you care about. You can think of it uh, like, a, like a love letter to your family, to your friends, saying, hey, I care about you so much. I took the time to organize my stuff to make things easier for you no matter what happens. By organizing your affairs, by creating a clear list, your account details, outlining your wishes, you give a very thoughtful gift to people you care about. This kind of preparation will spare stress that could be avoided and makes more clear what are your intentions. To do all this, you can create a folder with uh, some organizing your life. Uh, we're going to be listing 
your accounts, passwords, you outline your wishes for different types of situations, you can include contact details for important people, you can write, you can update your will, you can clearly state your intentions for your assets, your things, you can consider also adding personal messages to people you love. You can organize the documents that are important. Gather all uh, vital uh, records, uh, insurance policies, financial documents, you know, like uh, logistical things. And make sure that people you really trust will be able to find all of that. You can leave personal messages. You can write a letter to people who are important in your life, or you can even record a video message. You can encrypt it and then give the password to them in the moment when it's necessary. To have an organized life, you can take a look at the link at forward slash planning your life. Taking care of these practical matters is a way to show respect and love for your family and your friends. Not just about, you know, being negative and thinking about worst, it's about having an organized life and be responsible.